Hello viewers, in this lecture video, we are going to derive an expression for electric field intensity due to an infinite sheet of charge using Gauss law. Cartesian coordinate system is to be used in this derivation. Equation A shown here is the expression for charge enclosed within a closed Gaussian surface. Now let us consider an infinite sheet of charge placed like this. It is placed on Z is equal to zero plane. To find out electric field intensity and electric flux density, a small differential area ds is taken on the infinite sheet of charge. A closed Gaussian surface in the form of a cube has been constructed which encloses the differential area. A vector d has been constructed from the charge distribution perpendicular to the sheet of charge. To find out electric field intensity and electric flux density, we shall expand equation A as the Gaussian surface has three sides that is top side, bottom side and the lateral side. We can expand equation A as Q is equal to integral top plus integral bottom plus integral lateral side. An important property of electric flux is that it always leaves the surface normally. So if this is the infinite sheet of charge, the flux leaves the surface normally, it will not cross the sides. So we can say that the flux crossing the sides will be zero. So Q will be equal to integral d vector dot ds vector top plus integral d vector dot ds vector bottom. Now we shall find out the value of d vector and ds vector for both the sections. So Q will be equal to integral as you move from the charge distribution passing through the top surface the value of z will keep on increasing. So we can write d vector as d z a z because a z is the unit vector along z axis. Now to write the equation for ds, this ds is on the xy plane. As we move this ds all around this charge distribution, the value of z remains same, but the value of x and y will keep on changing. So we can write ds vector is equal to dx dy a z. So this is the value for the top surface. Now from for the bottom surface, now when we move from the charge distribution downwards, the value of Z will keep on decreasing. So the unit vector along this axis will be minus AZ. So we can write D vector is equal to DZ into minus AZ. Similarly the value of DS will be DX dy the unit normal vector along this direction will be minus a z so here a z dot a z will be equal to 1 similarly minus a z dot minus a z also will be equal to 1 so q will be equal to integral d z dx dy plus integral dz dx dy. Now we can write q is equal to dz integral dx dy plus dz integral dx dy. Now if you consider the area of this differential area is equal to a, we can write dz into, we can replace this integral dx dy with a plus dz integral dx dy can be replaced with a. So q will be equal to 2 dz into a. We can write dz is equal to q by 2a. Now let us assume this is a sheet of charge. Its surface charge density is rho s and its area is 
a now we can find the charge enclosed within this surface as rho s into a so we can use this equation here so dz will be equal to rho s a by 2a so a a cancels so d vector is equal to dz a z so this will be equal to rho s by 2 a z so this is the equation for electric flux density for an infinite sheet of charge its unit is coulomb per meter square so the relationship between d and e vector is written as d vector is equal to epsilon naught e vector so we can write e vector is equal to rho s a z vector by 2 epsilon naught so this is the equation for electric field intensity for an infinite sheet of charge the unit for electric field intensity is volt per meter